So today's topic is closing loops. Now you might think, what the frig is that? What are you on about? So I'm out here, it's, it's a bit foggy. I don't know if you can see. Um, the ground is, well, it's just really, really muddy. So basically it's, it's a bit of a nightmarish walk to do with the dogs, but it's so important and I, I do it to close loops. So what I mean by that is, one of the challenges with working at home during lockdown is that we don't get, you know, our usual commute. That's on one kin too. So we've no opportunity to close off our thoughts properly for the day. So I was running a resilience program the other week and some of the delegates on that course were creating their own artificial commutes. And the benefit of closing your loops is that, believe it or not, it's going to prepare you for sleep. And when it comes to state and managing your state, which influences your performance, sleep is one of the things that you should prioritise because it influences everything the next day. Anyway, back to closing loops. So what closing loops does for you is it, as I say, it closes thoughts off for the day, which enables you to almost tick the box and go, right, okay, I've dealt with that matter. And it prevents you from waking up in the middle of the night, but also sleeping, not sleeping, staring at the ceiling. Take care.